greetings everyone this is elizabeth and we are doing our budget for the week of may 3rd um his paycheck was 11.52 and four cents <laughs> and very first thing we do well i do you can do this however makes you happy right so the very first thing I did is I did go to my little planner here, okay, and I wrote down his paycheck. I times it by the 1%. It was $11 and some change. Doesn't matter what the change, it gets rounded up. So even if it was $11.01, <laughs> it's going to be round up to $12. So I've got, I need to put $12 in savings, okay. So very first thing, because savings is going to be our priority. So we want to do that first. Savings, 1% um, savings. So I know where to put that. Okay, so we're going to put $12 and 1% savings. Then we're going to flip over to our challenge. Okay, and today is our $5.00. Five dollar challenge. We're gonna do challenge. Okay, okay. And then we're gonna look at our bills for this month or this this paycheck. And this paycheck is a little weird. We've got um not so much really. We let me see where do I want to put that over here. So we've got our fifty dollar car payment because that comes out every Friday. We have an automatic withdrawal for Disney. Don't judge me. <laughs> I, lo I love me some Mando. Mando and baby Grogu. So we've got those. And then this is our killer right there. Our $800 goes to rent. Okay. Ugh. So, yeah. This is, this is one of the reasons I wanted to start saving for rent. Because this is actually a really good check for him. This is almost normal. And even at 11, you know, 52, we pull out 800. There's not much money left. So, if you recall, there was a couple of times we were able to save some money. So, I've got $200 saved for rent. Okay. So, we have our bills, okay, which, you know, stay in the bank, okay? So, we have those bills, and then um, we have to pull out money, the rest of the money, so that we can do our grocery shopping and stuff like that. So, for us, any, this is what needs to stay in the bank, Um 8.59 okay and what we did this time is let me double check okay so what we did is normally we would give an amount and say anything over that we could pull out but because I have to go in and get rent and rent is a killer you know we were I figured it a little bit differently I took 1150 because remember when we're pulling out we round down when we're putting in we we um round up right so i round down to 1150 and i minus the stuff that we had to deal with right and that came out to two so those together came to 291 okay now again we do the roundy part because if i went to the atm we couldn't do 90 but i did want to do some savings in the bank and i knew that i had 200 saved so what i did is i rounded this down to 250 okay this is what i would have pulled from the bank okay I, however, had to pull out $1,050 because I pay cash for my rent. I go in and pay them that. So, I pulled $1,050 out of the bank. 
Okay. Woohoo! 1050 out of the bank. 8 250 for spending. And then um, 800 for rent. Okay. So there's that. So we take this 250 Okay. And we add that 200 that we saved for rent because I've already paid rent now. That 200 for rent is actually for the other stuff. Okay. So now that becomes 450. Okay. Out of that 450, that's where we're getting our pouch money. Okay, so that $450, I need that $12 for savings. I need that $5 for savings. We need um, $100 for gas. Okay, and then, ooh, let me, let me think. I think that is it, right? Our, our necessities is really gas because all the bills are paid. We have to have gas, we want to do our savings, and then whatever is left, we will break into our pouches. So let's go ahead and see what all we have. Here's the money from the, oh, almost forgot. We stopped at the store on the way home. Let me double check how much that was. Okay. <laughs> so we pulled the money from the bank, we pulled the 250, I went and paid, well, we pulled the 1050 I went and paid rent. Then it's Wednesday. We always, we always wind up needing to go grocery shopping. I got to fix that so that I don't have to go grocery shopping at all on Wednesday. But we had to get some dinner stuff and um, it was, it was our fruit week. I try to buy fruit every so often. It's expensive, you guys. It was redonkulous. Most of this here, fifty-seven nineteen, we spent on fruit and cheese slices and lunch meat and stuff. And it's just like, uh, it's just cra cra <laughs> it's crazy, you guys. It's crazy. So, um, and then we also had to stop at the store for personal items. So that was about $69 because I give the coin to my hubby. So it only left me a dollar. So it was $69 that we spent out on groceries and stuff. Okay. We even passed up grapes. Grapes was $7 a bag, you guys. I was like, um, you know, and that was another thing. You know, having this budget, we only went into the grocery store with $60. We're like, we're going to get the things we want for dinner, the, the fruits and stuff, but it has to be under this much. And I had to put the, I had to put the flipping grapes back. I mean, ugh. anyways, so right now we have $181 right here that we got from the bank plus our 200 that we saved for our rent. <laughs> Look at that. So we can actually get more groceries. So this is another $200. So let us. So we have 180 plus 200 makes it 381. Okay, so I'm going to cross this out because that's what we're actually working with. 381, it started off at 450. I know it goes by so quick. Just, oh my goodness. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Do, do, do. Are we ready? <clears throat> Pardon me. We're going to go to the back of the book. We're going to start in the fun, fun pages. That's the change pocket. Okay. So the payday, the 1% savings, we need $12. One, two, 12. Look at that. So we're going to go into our pay pocket for our $12. I'm going to pull it all out to see if there's anything I can condense, which there is not. Because there's no such thing as a $50 bill. Okay. 
40, 50, 51, 52, 53. <coughs> Something's tickling my throat. $53 in our payday savings. Look at that. Our 1% payday savings. Okay. So, and that is right. That's exactly what I need. 53 love that then we're gonna go to our challenge which we need a five a dollar for then we're gonna go into here do, 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 do. we're gonna slide that out and I need to add five okay which then we have ten okay so I'm gonna switch those out so I try to keep the big bills because the little ones are tempting, right? So there's our 10, 11, 12, 13, $14 in there. Da, da, da. And then we go over here and um, we have three, four, five, 10, 14 dollars, just like it says. So we're gonna cross that five off got $14 in savings. Then our next main priority, we did our savings. Next is gas. Hubby needs his fuel. Okay. Um, we do two twenties and a 10. Okay. That is fuel one week or about three days and then four days, you know, that's, that's his fuel. Because he, he works an hour away. And uh, granted, he doesn't use it all. But he keeps the change for his energy drinks and stuff out of this. Because there's never very much left over, right? So there's our fuel. So we've got our fuel taken care of. Very important. Very important. Very important. Then we flip through the rest of it and we're gonna see we, we need to put some money in the food bin um my nails right now i think is fine but if i can put a little bit to start savings for the second time i go or the third time i go right but let's let's double check so we have 60 in there i may or not may put any in there we could use a little bit more in the hair because I go, then the very next week Anthony goes. We don't need to eat out. And then hubby does need a little bit of funds aside from the, the gas. And we don't need to buy any arts and crafts. But back here in the back, we have the shed. So we're, we're going to see what we can do for this shed. And while I've got the shed part open, let's see how much is in there. Um, 40, 50. Okay, so no, I was trying to get rid of, break this down for our grocery one. Um, this one, we, no, I need the hair ones, nails. And where's our savings savings? I've lost it. Oh, here's our savings savings. Um, so... From saving savings, we didn't have anything left over from the last payday. So we didn't add anything on the third paycheck, this paycheck. So we didn't add anything. So I'm going to try and add something today. But right now we should have $220 and I see some 20s in there. So let's break those out. Oh, nope. 200 Ooh, look at that wait what there's 240 somebody got something in there what is today i'm confused where did that other 20 come from i love it but i don't know so and this is the third yeah so at some point we actually did give it we did feed it so let's fix that hot dog Ha ha! So somewhere along the line, we did put a twenty in there, and we now have two forty. Or maybe I'm back a day. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. You know what? We are. We're back a day. Cause this is one, two, three, 
four weeks, and that is the first week, the second week, the third week, the fourth week. I think my dates are a little bit wrong. Okay, I need to... See, this is a good thing about doing it in pencil. Um... Okay. So this is a zero. Okay. So that is a zero, 220. And then the start of the payday, we had leftovers, which was the 20. It would it would have had to been. And then today we have 240. And then whatever's left this week, or if we throw in something in there for this week, that is going to end the 10th. You know what? I need to change these dates because this is this. I'm going to erase this and redate this. Please hold. Okay, I think I got it. So this is today. Well, today, payday the third. Okay, so from the 26th to the third, we had $20 left over. From the 19th to the 26th, we didn't have any monies left over. We didn't get to add. So from today to the 10th, whatever money is left is going to go in there on the 10th paycheck. Or, you know, when we're doing our budget. So I think that is going to be a little bit better. So um, next Wednesday, the 10th. Whatever money is left in any of these pouches will go in there. Or even if I add some today, we'll uh, put, it, put it in there next week. Okay, so that already has its 200. Let's put those back in there. 240 back in there. Sorry about that. I hope... I'm trying not to confuse... I'm confusing me sometimes. So this is what happens. We try and finagle it, make it work for us. My first numbering system obviously wasn't working. We have our savings taken care of. We have that taken care of. This is just change. And then this needs to get back in here. I do want to see if we can add more to the garage fund. Um, really kind of depends on what happens after we go grocery shopping. And there's his gas money. Gas money. So food. We're definitely do that for food. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, there's two hundred for groceries. Okay. Let's do let's put that like that for now. Two hundred for groceries. And I stopped at the bank and got extra change just in case. And then let's see. Let's do 10 for the hair. Because we don't have a ton of money this payday. So let's do 10 for hair. Okay. Let's... Um... Let's put this in the hubby's pouch. 20. So he has his drinks and stuff. See, he's not getting as much as he did last week. So that's all he gets. Plus his dollar that's sitting in there. So that's what he gets for this week. Last week he got $40. He's still got some of it left. <laughs> he's so silly. He buys things for the house. Like every now and then he'll use his money and buy the kids a candy bar or something. But, uh, yeah, so he's kind of funny about that, that way. So we're going to do that. We're Let's see about putting 10 in for this guy here. Okay, we'll put 10 in here. And then we'll put 5 in the nails just to keep that growing so that um, it's like paid ahead. You know what I mean? So I know I have enough for my appointment that's coming up and then we have to start saving for the second appointment. And then that leaves 5, 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We're going to go back here into the change department. And we're going to put, we're going to redo this a little bit. One, two, three, four, five in change and a t another five. We're going to keep $10 in change back here. And change doesn't have to stay there, right? Change can go anywhere. Change can go into like the food fund. Change can go into savings. Um, it's just extra money. So maybe, you know, we run out of milk. I, I can come into the change department and get a gallon of milk. Change is not savings. Change is not anything. It's just extra. And then we'll put this extra five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So two fifteen for groceries. It's not bad. And if we have anything left, I'm gonna try and put it into the savings bin. Okay. Our little savers. Where's that at? Yeah, not the change, but you know that one. I'll finally, I'll find it into this one. Okay. Oh, no, this one. Our, our savings. Where'd it go? There. <laughs> we'll try and put another, a little bit in there. So I'm going to do a food budget and see if I can't get that situated. But there it is. We don't have very many pouches to fill this time. Not a whole lot of figuring things out because we're getting it. We're getting it simplified. So the last couple of times it's been like 40 minutes to figure this thing out. Getting everything balanced. And today, right now on the ticker, is only 22 minutes. Granted, I did pause in a couple of places just to double check my math and things like that. But uh, all in all, um, I tell you right now, it's 8.24 p.m. So yeah. 8.24, I started this about a little, a couple minutes before 8. So yeah, still less than 30 minutes to um, deal with this this time. So that's kind of nice. So our rent, next payday, we're going to start saving for rent again. Okay, because rent is a killer. We, we don't get to do a lot of savings or anything. But we want to save up because rent is a, a killer um, we're going to put some monies in here to save for the rent. Um, fuel is always $100. Food is whatever we can stuff in there. Nails, same thing. Hair, same thing. Um, if we want to eat out, like Mother's Day, we're going to eat out. So um, one of the next paydays, we're going to try and put some money in there. Um, Tom funds, this fluctuates. You know, this is a fluctuator arts and crafts that that is what it is and then our our savings fluctuator like if we have it we put in here and we're not stressing too much at this point for it because we do have our our challenge which is a savings we have this which is a savings and if you remember at the start right um when we took his paycheck and took away what was due, right? It left us 291, which I only pulled 250 from the bank. So I've got a little bit more savings in there plus what we saved from the weeks before. So I've got <laughs> got like three places we're trying to squirrel away money for savings. Now, eventually, some of the savings will combine into one big, big, nice savings so we can go put it in a um, another account. That is in the future. Right now, we're just trying to get by. We're starting small, like the 1% savings for his paychecks. Eventually, we want to up that. You know, maybe in a couple of months, we'll do 2%. Um, and you know, the fun little challenge we're doing and stuff. So open up your 
your papers, your scratchy notebooks and stuff and budget your things. Um, sometimes we just got to do it. If, if we want, if we want something, you gotta, you gotta plan for it. Um, and we want to move and they said having extra money in your account is really beneficial, which we don't have. We don't have a down payment unless we yank it off of his 401k and I don't want to do that. So this is why, what really is pushing this, this time we have some goals. After the truck is paid off, we're going to use that bill to pay the other bills and get them paid off faster. And then we're going to cut up a couple of credit cards. We're only going to keep one. And we're hoping to be so far ahead. Our goal is to pay off all the credit cards. And then the one we keep, we're going to do our food shopping. So, like... I'll, I'll have a $300 budget, right? I go, I use the credit card, spend $280, whatever, and then put the three, the $300 and pay the card. So, because, you know, cards, you get cash back and interest free thingies. There's perks to using a credit card. And eventually that's what we want to do. We want to have like one card to do our grocery so we get that cash back kick and stuff. Um, the one card we have is a really good card, but we just got to pay off the other ones. So that's that's our deal. We, we want to get ahead. We want to have a nice cushion. So if something happens, you know, we've got rent paid for. We've got our bills paid for and stuff like that. Um, again, I do have a cheat sheet that I break down all of my bills. For, um, I have a cheat sheet. I don't know why it's not here with this stuff. But it has every bill and it's due date. And I go and I follow that and I put it on here. Okay. And so next week we got a lot of bills. <laughs> Some of them are just small. And then all that stuff. But I tried to break it down so all the bills were about even. Even though he's got an, an extra paycheck. And then hopefully some of these will have bigger savings impact. So keep an eye out. Um, I'll be posting my videos every Wednesday for you guys um, about my budget. If you have questions, drop them in the, the comments. If you have suggestions, drop them in the comments. Um, always appreciate good criticism and stuff like that. Uh, and I hope, I hope you guys are inspired to try a savings challenge or, you know, squirrel away some money for a rainy day. Uh, pay yourself, you know, sometimes going out and getting your nails done or having a spa day, you know, can really boost your, boost your self-confidence and stuff. And if you're constantly paying the bills and you're not doing anything fun, you're going to be really sad and depressed. So, you know, budget for it. Maybe instead of spending, you know, you know, just budget for it. <laughs> so we'll chat next time, my friends. I thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, we will, I've, I've got a list of things to do, but on that list of to-do things is we're going to decorate this bad boy. We're going to put some fun stuff on there. So hang out for those videos too. And we will see you next time right here on the channel. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.